Boss of Delaware Valley spoke today about the need for policy changes within police agencies. Here in Philadelphia, lawmakers gathered to call for a statewide ban on the use of chokeholds by law enforcement. Action News reporter Jacqueline Lee joining us now live in Abington, Montgomery County tonight with a closer look at what officials across the region are doing to address these growing concerns, Jacqueline. Well, Brian, the Abington Police Department does consider a chokehold a use of deadly force. Now, in order for Pennsylvania to ban chokeholds statewide, the bill has to go through committee and then it has to make it to the floor for a vote. Saying enough is enough, Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro and state legislators are calling to ban chokeholds in the Commonwealth. In my office, we don't train our agents to use chokeholds and we don't use them, period. This practice isn't included in the training that most Commonwealth police officers receive. In response to the death of George Floyd, lawmakers at the state and federal level are pushing for police reform. State Senator Sharif Street is pushing to ban chokeholds and create a database to track police misconduct. Eric Garner and others who are killed through asphyxiation. Um, this is not a part, a, a standardized part of uh, how police are supposed to conduct themselves. Kelly Warner is deputy chief of Abington Police and says she supports this legislative push, but adds that at least for police departments in Montgomery County, chokeholds have been banned for years. We don't train for it, and I can tell you over the last 31 years since I've been here, uh, we've never trained. Uh, Police officers are not given that as a tool. They're given other options to gain compliance. The Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency found only 118 of the more than 1,000 law enforcement agencies in Pennsylvania are accredited. If accredited, departments are required to follow certain police practices, which include forbidding the use of chokeholds. It's not something that we need to do to gain compliance. Officers are given far better training to, to use other methods. And over in Delaware, Governor John Carney announced that he will be signing an executive order next week banning chokeholds among state and capital police. That's latest here in Abington. Jacqueline Lee, Channel 6 Action News. Char